Alright boys, it's the Nostalgic Gaming Channel back at it again with some Legend of Alandar content. In case you guys are coming from the last video, we're in the Lashone Pass here. We just got a brand new quest, or a continuation of a quest, to help that girl that has gotten amnesia, to help her find her memory. So we're going to have to go to the uh, Tale of Whiptail and get some kind of item that's there and return it so we can get a magical bell. In case you guys don't remember, or this is your first time tuning in, we just got a blazing sword, a blazing orb, and a zakudai, which I don't really know what it is, but it's a brand new two-handed weapon. So I'm gonna try and test it on some of these rock monsters that we passed up here, just because they've gave me so much grief in the past. I kind of want a little bit of revenge. So I'm gonna test out my new fire orb and my new weapon and see if we can. Uh, pop some of these monsters here. So we are going backwards. I'm assuming these three here on the right are monsters because the ones on the left were not. No, not monsters, interesting. But these two I'm pretty sure are monsters, or these three. All right, well we took out one very easily. Let's try our fire orb here. Blazing orb. Burn. Blazing orb. Fire stream. Let's try our orbit tears. Let's see if we can get any damage with it. Sakurai that one and let's try water sprites on one. let's see how much it protects you okay it blocked a little bit <coughs> so I don't know how to actually activate the magic on my sword but granted those spells are level one and those monsters are probably resistant did not give a lot of damage, which is fine. Like I said, those monsters are. Pop I bet you I'll get more damage with my Earth, my Sunder, on these guys. So I'm gonna try popping Sunder on them and see. Cause I know there's at least one more group up here that we avoided. This is all just for insight for me. Cause I was very surprised that I was able to just tap them with my sword. Look, see, there's the two right there. These are the two that we ran right past. Oh, are we not going to be able to... Hey, come here. Come here, let me fight you. Let me fight you. I guess I'm not going to be able to fight him. That's mildly interesting. Okay, well... At least I got to use my fire orb. I bet you if we fight a more humanoid monster, it'd probably give him sufficiently more damage. But now I'm kind of worried that we got fire so quick. Maybe I shouldn't have invested in fire. But both of the two-handed swords had fire spirits or fire fates attached. So I feel like two-handed, which is the weapon I chose for Jarek, is probably going to be pretty good fire so I don't think it makes that big a difference I gotta figure out how to actually use that uh, magical element on my my weapon too I don't know if I have to just power it up more and rapid fire kind of reminded me of um, the to hear the ice shards that bounces back and forth I I feel like that's probably what it does but we'll see try and use it on some of these dark fell up here when we get over there. I'm just going to recharge my mana and recharge my health at that, that shrine. But thank you guys all again for tuning in. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. Hopefully you guys are uh, getting a little bit nostalgic here on Legend of Valadar if you played it. If not, hopefully you uh, think about checking it out. It's a, it's a fun game. I'm not going to lie. Better with two players. But... Don't forget, two players, you actually have to um, 
get to here first. So you're going to be playing a little bit by yourself first. In case that that's a uh, no-no for you. But interesting way they did that. Interesting design. But a, it kind of adds a little bit of saucy, like sauciness to it. It's different. Oh, there's a rock monster right there. Let's make sure I have my right. Yeah, okay. Alright, I have the right weapons equipped in here. So I can just tag him and bag him. It's weird though, how, like, I can see you. I know you're here. I don't know if he's trying to ambush me. Like, when I, when I walk away and there's much more forward and I'm going to get attacked in the back. But, like, I know you're here. Hop on out. <laughs> Piece of amber. Eight. If you guys can hear the music, it sounds like there's a sitar in the background. Kind of that string, like ancient instrument. It's kind of cool. Why is this Sirojin all by themselves over here? Is this the defensive pass that they were setting up? I'm setting up the outpost for Long Tooth so we can be on the lookout for Dark Bell. Okay, that's what I thought. Sorojin Lizard people are really powerful mages. I don't think they really use melee at all. They probably use like staffs and or ranged weapons. I'm really surprised there wasn't I'm gonna double check over there, because I'm really surprised there wasn't Oh, it sounds like a pan flute. What an interesting music choice for this area. Kinda like native like older civilizations really heavy on the drums like it makes me want to go into battle I'm ready like a wartime song okay this is a cutscene that I can't walk it took over for me do not continue this down this road, friends. This is danger in the woods. Darkfell blocked this path to the Cyrus. Spire of suspicion. I was forced to turn back from my pilgrimage. We fear nothing. Wait but a while and you can make your pilgrimage in peace. Mark our names to hear in Jarek. Make sure you get them right when you sing our praises. Oh, when I engrave them upon your tombs, you fools. May the weird protect you as it does fools and children. That's so funny. What a clapback. That was pretty good. I'm a fan of some witty banter. Looks like there's an amber over there. And a scroll right here. 14. Maybe not amber. Maybe just a tree. Oh, here's another scroll. 15. I see another scroll over there. I'm surprised none of these rock monsters are popping up. 16. 9. Okay, if I see another amber, I'm going to check my EXP first. Chop into Zachariah. Okay. Man, that chop into just crushes through them. Oh, a block reduce. Okay, nice. 70. Wow, he got block reduce also. Maybe we shouldn't both have block reduce. Can we take a spike potion? How many of those do I have? scrolls do I have? 16, okay. 17? Must be Darkfell territory markers we were told of. I do not like the look of them. 
Neither do I, but this is where the Amaranth lives, where the Jerub Scarab lies. We have to risk it. Okay, so I found the scroll right here. Those are the Darkfell markers, so let's go this way. Because that's the way we have to go. And look over here for any more collectibles or anything. There's an Amber, so I'm going to check first. How much do I have? 1535 1460 2035 Oh, so they both got it. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Maybe I should not be collecting any of these. Let's see how much damage I give. 105, wow. 122, wow. I wrecked that guy. Am I too strong now? Or maybe I just have the right type of weapons for these guys. 11 amber. Oh, that burn was pretty strong. All right, so now there's several ways to go. Let's go right first, right? Because I think this just meets off of the other place that I was. Why do we run from the amulet, Jarek? We must destroy it and get the Jarek's gift for it. We should turn back at once. Uh, burns him pretty fast. Burns not that bad. 12 damage in like 3 seconds. Oh, there's another amber right there. 14. It'd be pretty sweet if we found all the ambers. Right now, this is. I'm playing Dance Dance uh, Simulator. I'm killing these monsters so fast. Hopefully the burn works pretty good on the tree. I'm hoping that it, it'll just uh What the That was weird. I thought I saw something in the corner out of my screen. What is this? The Dark Fell grow more daring in their attempts to hinder travelers from reaching Whiptail's tomb. They will be sorry from long when Longtooth Valiant comes to them. If you need help, all is under control. Just come back later. It will take some time to clear out the pass. We have these trees removed in the flick of a tail. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. I guess. I like how they're lumberjacks. They're not just regular Sorogens, they're Sorogen lumberjacks. Don't get it twisted. Okay, so I guess I have to wait for them and <laughs> come back a different time. Why do you run from the Amrath? Okay. Okay, I get it. I get it to here. 
me try going the other way. I definitely saw a Sarojin sit down over there, so... That's probably some kind of, like, salesman or merchant or something, or another person with a quest. Let's see if we can go the other way. Too bad there's no, this game really needs a fishing simulator where like, oh, I can interact with this. I don't know what that does, but apparently I can interact with it. This game needs some kind of fishing simulator, you know, where you could toss in and catch a fish. Nice. That's top level gameplay right there. Let's save just in case. In case we run across that tree that's super strong. I I realize I've probably been calling it Amaranth like the streamer and not whatever it was initially intended to be. Or maybe she stole it from this game. Thought nobody would uh nobody would know. Did I uncover some secret that I wasn't supposed to know about? Okay, there's a tent. Look. There's somebody down there. And it's a dead end, so we gotta make sure we come back there after we kill the tree. There's the Amrath. Let's take it down and see if it has what we need. Oh wow. He gives a lot more damage than I do. That one's really strong fire stream. Rapid fire. Yeah, the fire orb is really strong on the tree. That's good to know. But this should be enough there. There we go. Hey, that other tree was way harder. Now this one's supposed to be stronger, but then again, I guess I am stronger. Oh, see, it gave you less PP. Jade Scarab. Oh, nice. That was unpleasant work, but here's a Jade Scarab. Now that we have it, the Oracle said that it would set you upon the path of discovery and change. I understand it no more than you do. Here is my guess. The Scarab belonged to Sarojin Mage, and we are in Palash, the land of Sarojin. I will take it as a sign to go to the first tomb of Whiptail, the Sarojin Hero. Perhaps the Jade Scarab will show us when we get there. Riffin, the story teller I encountered said Whiptail's tomb is marked by the spear of Spire of Suspicion, a place of pilgrimage at the far end of Palash. Let us search for it. I wonder if there's any... There's gotta be. Come on. A journal? A scarab? Some gold? Some PP? I keep clicking on these little trees just in case, like with the palm nuts. They have some kind of special healing property that I don't know about. Oh, here's a dark fell here. <coughs> I think he's gonna tap him. No, he didn't tap him. You dare make me bleed? Wow, I actually hit pretty fast. Pop a, uh, a potion for my boy here. Oh, there's a red cauldron, but the vile looking potion is brave. You know, <laughs> I don't want to drink it even if I were that brave. Okay. 200 gold and a journal. Spike potion. Wait, let's just see how close we are in the inventory of these boys. No, we have plenty of inventory space. I don't have to worry about discarding potions and whatnot. Heading deeper into Darkfield territory is not a wise idea. We have what we came for. You're right. Let's take the Jerob Skirt. Take back to the trail. I 
guess I gotta go backwards? Or do I gotta go... No, okay. It won't let me go here, right? Okay. Now I'm thinking that guy down there in that little TP is probably a bad guy. That's what I would assume. I'm gonna save just in case. I have this habit of whenever I see a saving trying to, <laughs> I like to save just in case. You never know, you know? Game corrupts, power outage, death unexpectedly. That's probably a bad guy. Oh, those two do look like bad guys. All right, let's head back to the Spire of Suspicion. Hopefully those guys cleared out the, the tree in the flick of a tail. Be nice if I could finish that journal. I don't know if I've ever finished a journal before. I kid you not, when I played this game, there was so many collectibles and I was not careful. I'm pretty sure that I, <laughs> other than the silver acorns and those drinky horns, I don't think I ever finished any of the collectibles. So it'd be pretty nice if we could. Okay, you caught me. I just wanted to go in there, sneak a peek, find a scroll. Looks like the tree's gone. They did clear it out. That's nice. Alright. Now there's a bunch of dragons above me or birds or whatever. Here's another scroll. 19. There's another one. 20. Thousand PP, and I'll take the level up to warrior. Oh, there's an amber bead, an amber shirt. Is that a scroll over there or something? No, it's a big green nothing. What that necklace will give me if I get all of them. Like, what kind of power it has. to be pretty close to hit burn, huh? I probably shouldn't use the orb. because my backpack is running kind of light on potions and I haven't found any plants that I can pick up. There's another amber. 16? I'm so surprised I can't pick up like this palm tree or this pine tree or whatever. I wonder if this thicker one. Nope. 17? Okay. We're gonna 
kill this one. Oh, this guy actually has a sword. Not just whatever whip they have. Wow, that whip bleeds. Pretty often. We'll finish him off here. Alright. I took about 60 damage from that battle onto here. Luckily, they keep giving us some pretty sweet potions. Some of the expensive ones. Oh, 18 amber. There's a scroll up there, too. Oh, this is an ancient scroll. Two out of five. Make sure. I think this is the path ahead that I'm going to. Looks pretty clear from here. Another tree. Let me save. Oh, not before I grab this. 19. Save game. Flash. And I'm going to have to heal to here because these trees love hitting them. my heavy heavy damage dealer so here there's an amara that had ready your weapons this one's asleep look close and you can see if we quietly it may not hear us coming let's slay it hold it. if it poses no threats we should avoid it there's no purpose in risking battle if there's a creature with very well you're either cunning or a coward if i find out you're a coward or i will not let you leave by my deeds to here i will not let you live so i don't get to fight the tree That's a shame. I prepped myself for it just in case too. Alright. Do we want to go left? No, okay, that, there's a spire suspicion right there, so let's go down and let's see. Let's see how far down it'll let us go before it makes us turn around. Here's another acorn. Nice, a thousand PP. That's gotta be enough to buy myself some more, right? Some more skills. Speed. Let's see, magic. Let's buy myself some handed sword. Block. Block. Just in case, you know? Let's see what's down here. Ah, oh, this beautiful little lake. You can hear the water running. Some more of our boys here. Why? I could barely give down any damage. There we go. Much better. Wow, he gave me flaming bottles. Wow, I got a lot of stuff from that, those guys. Those flaming bottles. These a weapon, Sorogen weapon with the symbol of Dark Bell. Equipped to Jerek. No, that's not what I wanted. Equipped. Swap those into 
inventory, blingy bottles. Might as well try it, right? Just in case. 21. 21, 21, 21, 21. Drink my battle warrior friends. You'll find this elixir exhilarating. I'm brewing to be most exhilarating. I am Bright Eye, Keeper of the Tomb of Whiptail. I have never seen such unusual pilgrims inspire suspicion. What do you seek here? We have a jade scarab and we must fulfill a quest given to us by the Dagania Oracle to find something we need in the Tomb of Whiptail. <gasps> Scales have shrin in. You fulfill the first of the threefold prophecy of Sunheart. If you are the destined one, you have come for the diadem of the Dreaming Beast. Sometimes I think everyone knows more about what we are doing than we do. What about the Dreaming Beast? It is said that Whiptail brought the diadem from a place he would never name. He afterwards dreamt of a huge powerful beast he called the Juggernaut. He said the Juggernaut lies sleeping within the Day of Diem. Step up to the pedestal of the Sun Heart and fulfill the prophecy. If you are the destined one, no harm will come to you. He said if, Jarek. I hate when they say if. I see the diadem. Let us hope the spirit of Whiptail will understand our need for it. Tahir, look, four sigils have appeared on the tomb. They look similar to the symbol on my hand, the same language, perhaps. What can it mean? Maybe it says, touch this and die. We will find out soon enough. It must be for this purpose that your oracle sent us to find the Jade Scarab. It fits perfectly here. It worked, Jarek. The spell is lifted. There's a scroll. I have the diadem. Tahir, my heart pounding like a hammer. What's happening to me? Stay back, monster. Calm yourself, Tahir. You have nothing to fear. Only my body has changed. I am still. Jarek. The diadem did this? Yes, and no. The diadem awoke something deep inside me, as though I suddenly remembered a dream from ages past. Now that I remember it, this shape is mine to command at will. Behind you, Jarek. Something else is taking shape. How dare you come here? You have no place in this world. Drindithar. Tahira, what is this? Why do you ask me? I've never seen such a being before. You are inferior creatures, unworthy of the power you dare to touch. I demean myself even to speak with you. And who are you to say so? Of what kind are you? I am Ethereals. We are guardians, keepers of the balance. And you are unfit to live. Jarek, he has turned the trees into amaranths. We gotta take out one at a time here, and they just keep stunning to here, which is not good. Oh, they stunned me now. Alright, this first one's almost dead. Alright, don't disrupt me again. Do not disrupt me. Oh, that wasn't enough. Ouch. Okay, perfect. We're just gonna keep pounding him here with this, with this rapid fire. Oh 
Oh, shoot. All right, burn's pretty good too. Burn will give him some significant damage. Rapid fire. Is that Curry? Chop into. There we go, boys. That was a decent boss battle there. Palm nut potion. We got one back at least. The scales of Sharon and you astound me. Yes, we are mighty warriors. No Amarath can stand against us. I do not speak of mere Amarath. You've earned the notice of an ethereal. I cannot say I cared much for his notice. What is an ethereal, Bright Eye? No one knows. They appear very rarely and usually in places of power. It is even more rare to have one speak and unheard of to have one take action such as this. We know ethereals are somehow tied to the integrity of the sacred weave and do not like to see too much power over the word concentrated in any one person or place. It could be the result of the prophecy of Sun Heart being two-thirds fulfilled. The ethereals must fear you will become too powerful and upset the balance. But the prophecy is not complete. You have held the scarab and the diadem. There is another object to be taken from the tomb if you have the courage to continue. Yeah, it's right here. The journal. Make sure there's nothing back here. Cannot reach it this way. We have forgotten there's more than one shape now. Morph. Juggernaut. Golden crystal. I'm a big boy. I'm a tanky boy. Well done. You have completed the threefold prophecy of Sun Heart and the first of the four quests I have set upon you. Oracle, how is this possible? You've never appeared anywhere but upon the pedestal fated to gone. The dark evil that drinks in the weird is greater threat than anything our world has ever known. My fate is yours, and that of all that is living is bound to Jarek's fate. Where you go, I must go to watch and guide as I can. Three tombs will still wait. Zenore. The Camaranian, Dramar, the Nine Fingers of Orn, and Cherok, the Tagani. Oracle, Tahir says we must speak with the ghost of Mahir, so we may hear the chant of Cherok. How can we do this? Bright Eye knows how this may be done. He will tell you the way. Let me drink some of his uh, jungle juice over there, too. I have ever seen more wonders in this one day than in my entire life. I am honored to answer the Tagani Oracle's request and give you knowledge you need. You must obtain a tattoo of spirit wind from the matron of the Kamar by performing whatever task she sets for you. The tattoo can summon a dead spirit. But the matron is guarded by her Windseeker shamans. You can only find her camp in the Kamarian Highlands by using the Spear of Calling. The Call of Windsinger guides you. Oh my god, there's so many things. Where can we find a Spear of Calling? Jade Throat, a student of, of the mage, Sundeep, said she came across such a spear. Seek her out. She's often in Lashan. She has green scales, a green t That's a girl that has the uh, memory loss and gold jewelry. We've seen a lady like that. She suffers from a spell forgetfulness, but we hope to use a diadem to buy a cure for her. But if it calls forth the juggernaut, no, you embody the juggernaut at your will. The diadem is no more than a pretty jewel now. Please help the unfortunate lady at once, be she Jethro or some other. I will speed you to Lashan. I control the translocation node in this place to short the, weary, the way home for weary pilgrims. May the sacred week protect you. Farewell. Oh, you just teleported us out of there. I didn't ask for this. I wanted to find more amber. It's all good. Alright. Magic. Incinerate. Inferno. Here, let's see what each of these do. Range 8. Duration 5. Reapply twice. 10 HP damage, so 20 damage. 15, chained, 40, okay. Target 160, 45, 
with 20 damage, 8 radius. Oh, so that attacks in a, in a radius. 48 range, 1 target, 5, 3 times, 30 damage. Inferno. Total radius, 6. Okay, so this is an area of effect spell. Okay. Foot. We have returned with the diadem. We seek here it is. Yes, this is a very gem. Now give us the bell. Wait, the legend says there should be great power locked in here, but the word has left the diadem. You have ruined it somehow. We offered what you asked, and give us the bell before Tahir loses his temper. Very well, take it. I have no time to trouble myself with barbarians. Okay, let's see. Let's sell if we have some extra stuff here. 200 heal. I have a lot of spike potions again. Let's get rid of some of them. Okay. Alright boys, I think this is going to be it for this episode. We made it to the Spire of Suspicion. Uh, we got the Diadetum and we got the Bell to break the, the Memory Curse. So we'll call it for here. And I will set you guys up. Hopefully you guys tune back in for the next episode because it's going to be a banger. We're going to finally complete a quest. But thank you guys for tuning in, and I will catch you guys on the next one. See ya.